Sunday before Thanksgiving 2013. Whitney Webster did what many three-year-olds do. She took a tumble. Her mom said, why don't you go get mommy's keys, which were on the kitchen counter. And we have this stool that sits in the kitchen. She stood up on the top of the stool. She fell. Now, prior to this, we had no idea that anything was wrong with her. Normally, parents would hope to cushion their child's fall. So after two nights of not sleeping and two days of being on the couch, it was, it was very apparent she was not getting better. So we went scooting off to a, a local hospital out in the suburb. And we got there, and they had done tests to show that she had a massive amount of blood around her kidney. So they had seen that her kidney had ruptured, but no one really knew what they were looking at. This accident, however, proved to be a blessing. Had she not fallen, the, the odds of that tumor consuming the other kidney, moving to her lungs, exceptionally high, exceptionally high. So we found ourselves um, being transferred out to Lurie's. It was every parent's worst nightmare. Within days, Whitney's right kidney was removed. With the treatment, you always just sometimes get concerned about if she's going to be tolerating the treatment and the, and the chemotherapy that she will need later on. Her life had been so short at that point, and you just, to think of what could be, that she could not make it through this. Friends, family, even strangers rallied to her side big support that we had, and I mean, people came. It was everything we could do just to clear our schedules, to be available, to take in uh, their older daughter, Sage, and to find ways just to be that kind of loving, serving example and service to them. For a sick child, being with family means everything. If you have support around you, it, it allows you uh, a strength and a focus on what's important. That was a script for us on how to, how, to, how to handle this. Togetherness. This is the foundation Ronald McDonald House is built upon. The Ronald McDonald House really made bearing the period of radiation and chemo, and then every time we had chemo, we, we came. It just, it made it bearable because we came and we did, we just treated it like home. For them to be able to stay together and have even a little bit of normalcy. We know we've been a part of this beautiful journey for this family to keep them close when they needed to be close and they didn't need to worry about what they were gonna eat that night, where they were gonna sleep, where they gonna be able to be together in, in the time they needed to be together the most. RMHC helps ease the burden. There's these generous people in the city of Chicago and all around the world that have funded and built and staffed and organized and, and, and set up this oasis. It's a place where sick kids and their families can heal together. Ronald McDonald House is a safe haven for families, a place of rest, a place of support, a place of encouragement, a place of abundant and immeasurable resource that allows families to have the care and the support that they need to help their, their children go through uh, really trying times. So our experience was with the Ronald McDonald House really came down to my wife, myself, and Whitney. And those moments, we had some of the best times with Whitney. Those are very, very sweet moments for me. In the middle of thinking we could lose this child, those are just... Today, Whitney Webster is a healthy, happy little girl. Whitney's doing great. Whitney is doing incredible. She is getting, we're getting back the Whitney that we knew. We're seeing her personality come back. We're seeing her sense of humor, her liveliness. She's living proof that togetherness matters. That picture is the Ronald McDonald House. And Ronald McDonald House is humbled that we could provide a house that felt a little bit like home. Thank you, Ron McDonald House.